for the Christian that's trying to walk with the Lord every day, what would you say would be the relevant message for us? Uh, you know, that you us? don't need to be on the biggest stage of the land and winning a show like 15 Minutes or like American Idol in order to be used by God, in order to have a wonderful life. I think that, um, you know, this will give people a behind the scenes look at how these shows go. It's compelling. And I, I love the research. I, I think it's going to be very, very gripping. Yeah. But I think it also shows them that, you know what, maybe they won't audition. Maybe they won't. Maybe they're, maybe they're okay to be content with the beautiful life that they already have. Yeah. So tell me about the research for this. Well, I have a lot of friends who were on Idol and who uh, made it past, you know, the judges rounds. And Mandisa is a great friend. Uh, Colton Dixon is a friend. And just getting a chance to be able to follow their stories. And certainly my, my character, Zach Ryan, is not patterned after anyone. Yeah. But he's a, he's a country singer. You know, he's a guy who leads worship at church. And he runs a horse farm for his dad. And um, the farm's in disrepair. And he thinks maybe this is a way that he can kind of do better with his music and make some money to help the farm. And that's really his motive. And he wants a, a platform where he can shine for God. Mm. But it doesn't. It just doesn't work out that way. I mean, your best intentions. There's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot of production on the line, and they have a story they want to present to the viewers. And it doesn't really matter where you might want to go. They're going to put you into that hole and present it the way they want to present it. And that makes it very tough when you're uh, kind of caught up in the race for fame.